Hey friends, welcome back to OG Universe. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video as we do something a little bit special. We're taking a look at a figure that's highly sought after, kind of tough to get, but we're looking at the new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Platinum Chase Reverse Flash from the New 52. Now these figures are very difficult to come by. This chase wave has been frustrating for a lot of collectors. And unfortunately, they have announced a second wave of these figures. We got Effigy from Green Lantern, Shiny Knight, and the biggest one here is the question. People are going to be wanting that question. It's a figure that has enough of a background, enough of a following, that it could be a regular release, but they're making it a platinum chase. And this entire wave is going to be something that's going to be tough to find. Here in Canada, we have been very fortunate that our GameStops have picked up this series. And we've gotten probably about two to three restocks at our stores here in the city I live in. So they are a little bit easier to find, but as soon as they kind of come out, you got about a day or two and then they disappear. So unfortunately at this moment, there's none to be found. We don't have any kicking around. Hopefully there's another restock. There's one store in particular that I frequent that's been getting a lot of these platinum chases. They went through I think two cases already. Hopefully another one shows up and I can secure another one of these figures. I really do want to have another one just to keep sealed on the package. And I want to be able to share these with you guys. So if you're hunting this figure down, maybe my video will help you make a decision. If you want to go for it, spend the extra money, unfortunately, or just pass on it. But without any further ado, let's take a look at what you get in the package. And we'll talk all things reverse flash. So the package, it's standard McFarlane toys. You got that Platinum Chase logo, which is a, a good thing and a bad thing. You also got a trading card of the artwork on the back, display stand. On the side here, you do get Reverse Flash, New 52. And yeah, I paid $26.99 here in Canada. The back is adorned by some great artwork of the Reverse Flash from Francis Manupal and some really stellar artwork to go with that too so we got some accessories as you can see the reverse flash is adorned with all of these lightning effects you get a full tray full of all these lightning effects and they're pretty cool but we have seen these for quite some time since the very first release of the flash from rebirth we've gotten tons of these effect pieces with reverse flash as well so it's interesting that we did get it it's a platinum chase i'm glad we got some extras to go along with this figure but I'm really hoping that we move away from this in 2025. The plugs, once you take these out, you do have these holes, which are a little annoying. So if you don't have them plugged in, your flash figure is going to have some holes everywhere. But he still looks really cool. I really like this one at the bottom here that you can plug into this waist stand to give him a little bit more oomph and some extra kind of speed force jump. But yeah, the figure is phenomenal. Absolutely spectacular paint job. He has this, like, imagine the flash. Crossing over with Darth Maul, let me get this. It looks so fierce and just powerful, animalistic. The red and black contrast, so nice. And even that yellow, which I'm not a big fan of the yellow, still looks really good. I am thinking, I'm probably going to sound crazy for even saying this, but I do want to repaint that gold. I want to make it a very nice metallic gold along with the winglets on the ears. That's really the only thing, in my opinion, that's holding this figure back from being just absolutely stellar. Now, one thing that is a little bit jarring and different from what I'm used to seeing this character in the New 52, this is Daniel West. This is the brother of Iris West. Now, he gets his powers from a freak, well, it's a monorail powered by the Speed Force. I know it's very odd sounding, but that monorail has an accident and Speed Force is brought upon this version of the Reverse Flash. And he goes all hell bent. Very interesting, it's a different take on it. I know it didn't last too long. We went back to the, our reverse flash, our, our yellow and red, the Aborthon, but this is an interesting take. Now, as you can see, he has almost like hair going on the top of his head here. And in the promo shot here, the artwork that's on the back, he has like a regular kind of flash kind of skull cap going on. I would have preferred that, or maybe an extra head sculpt. If you really want to go with that look, that would have been fine too, but it's a quite different and it's not really what I'm used to seeing with the reverse flash here, but he still looks really good. The piercing white eyes, he does, like I said, have a very animalistic look to him and it's pretty spectacular, pretty damn spectacular. So the figure's articulation, as we know, it's 
based on the flash body. So it's going to have some pretty decent range of motion. You can look down quite a bit, up not too bad. You got some side attitude going on there. You got a spacer joint that's going to give you extra range of motion in the butterfly. Bicep cut. And you got double jointed ratcheted elbows, ball joints at the hands. I do like how they have these grasping hands and a fisted hand. You know, maybe an extra couple sets of hands, running hands, gesturing hands would have been great too. You also have limited range of motion in the torso. It's not too bad, but it could be better. Look back, so so, not too bad. That can be adjusted. You can adjust the ball peg on the inside of the chest. I think we do have some. Some extra space to play around with and we can extend that torso just like we did with our definitive superman so that's a possibility if you want to go that route do some toy surgery check out my videos for that he does have ball joints at the waist the hips double jointed ratcheted knees to articulation pivot ankle rocker and he doesn't have the sculpted ball joints he had those g1 round ball joints which i'm so happy they've gotten away from that but overall he's a pretty striking looking figure and let's take some of these uh, speed effects off the figure for a moment. Take these big ones off. And we can kind of get a better feel for this flash figure. Now, if you saw my short, the figure is packed at a weird angle. He's looking very odd. He's kind of got your back towards it. So you can't really see all the sculpted detail and paintwork on the figure. I did a short where we kind of took a look at the inside of the packaging. And man, he is really striking. I think if this figure was looking like this right off the hop at an angle, and you could see all the detail and paintwork, I think that would be phenomenal. And I think, well, the figure does kind of disappear pretty quick. I think out of the three, the Manhunters is definitely the most popular one. And for good reason, that is a spectacular figure. Check out my review on that character. But this one is really iconic for me because he's a Flash character. And it's a different take on a really powerful, iconic villain in Flash Mythos, and that is the Reverse Flash. So to have a different take on him, I'm pretty cool with it. So let's bring in a couple other figures here that we might want to pair up with this Reverse Flash. And then you got the OG Barry Allen, one of the first releases from Farland Toys, and that is the Reverse style of Flash. The body box has been used a lot, and I think it might be time to maybe retire it and move on to some other kind of body box that would be perfectly suited for the Speedsters. Hopefully one day that happens. We did get that Target exclusive Flashpoint Flash, which was really nice. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on that figure. So my cyborg doesn't have legs. But it was a different take. And that one had the Animal Man body, which is super hyper fluid, articulated. But I still think it's not the right body for this character, for the Flash. And I think this one is pretty good for now. But hopefully in 2025, we get a new Flash and we get some different kind of body that would be more suitable for the speedster here. And then we can also bring it in one of my favorite figures that uses this body, and that is the Wally West Flash. I think it looks fantastic, especially this version from Speed Metal painted in blue. Got the powers of Dr. Manhattan. I really love it, but again, he's got holes that you can't really see because of the Navy, but uh, it's there. He has the same speed effect parts that give him that look where he's just imbuing speed force which is pretty cool but uh, i think it's time to move on one of the best head sculpts though check out that head sculpt it is phenomenal it's stern it's a really beautiful head sculpt for wally west and then let's bring out another version of wally west this guy is from crisis on infinite earth he's sporting the animal man body book and it's neat to see these two guys together i love this figure one of my one of my favorites in my collection just for the nostalgia but it's still pretty good you do have to swap out these hands with red tornado hands because it comes with this baby hands that just don't suit the figure and in fact one hand is bigger than the other very strange very odd but i like the way these two guys look this would be a really kind of epic battle between these two if maybe you know the reverse flash went through the time the speed force and went back in time and took out Barry, or excuse me wally west as a young kind of scene that would be an interesting storyline for sure and then let's bring in some other figures that i think would be very interesting to see how they pair up and we got this one here this is the reverse flash from injustice 2 i love this version it's a very serious look dread look the pattern on the figure is not too bad i've kind of grown accustomed to it but unfortunately it's not painted on the back and that's disappointing so 
we would probably have to do some toy surgery and fix that. Some easy panel lining in red. That would be pretty fun. But I think these two guys look really cool together. A really different take on reverse flash. And speaking of reverse flash, we got this one here that's using the same body box, same lighting effects. But damn, it is one of my favorite characters. One of my favorite figures too because it's just an imposing look. And that head sculpt. This head sculpt is phenomenal. I love the way it looks. It captures that curiosity, that intense power and look that this reverse flash has. One thing with these winglets, man, they do not want to stay in place. I've heated these up, freeze them. They just want to be all over the place. So you got to let it go. Not much I can do, unfortunately. But man, awesome reverse flash. And the fact that these two guys share the exact same body, pretty stellar. A lot of retooling, a lot of repainting. And man, it looks really good. So, one other character I wanted to bring in because uh, well, we did a little bit of toy surgery. We're going to go in depth on that, but I want to see how Captain Boomerang looks. So, these two guys look really good. Captain Boomerang is a definite standout from the collector's edition figures. Penguin was interesting. Light on accessories, same with Starfire, but check my reviews out for those guys. This one was definitely the home run winner. I love this version of Captain Boomerang. He looks great. And maybe these two could be part of the Suicide Squad. I believe Reverse Flash from New 52 did make a brief appearance as a member of the Suicide Squad. So you never know. He might be joining the team in the future. So there you go, guys. A quick look at this figure. I'm not going to go into uh, a little rambling, so to speak, about the Platinum Chase figures and the exclusivity and the toughness to find them and the marketing and all that. I really talked about it to a great extent in the Manhunter review. And I think I got my feelings across. And it's definitely a shame that we can't just walk into a Target or Walmart or Toys R Us, GameStop sometimes, but not too often, and just pick this figure up or do a pre-order for it or order it online. It's such a waste of a really nice looking figure that we've gotten kind of already before. And it's kind of like, well, do I need it? If you're a Flash fan, yeah, I'd go for it. It's a great looking figure. It's definitely going to have some shelf presence. but I've seen some prices, and some of the aftermarket prices for this guy are almost three times what you pay for it, sometimes four. And I just, I can't do that, man. If I was going to, now that I have the figure, I wouldn't pay 100 bucks for it. I just, I just wouldn't. I think the max, absolute max of my limit is maybe 50. I do $50 for this figure. Because of the Platinum Chase, the exclusivity, you're probably not going to get another version of this guy down the road. It's kind of a one and done because it's kind of an obscure version of Reverse Flash from New 52. But if you're a diehard fan and you need to have this figure, you're a completionist, yeah, I would kind of spend that extra money to get it. I'm very happy I got to showcase this figure for you guys and hopefully make it your decision maybe a little easier if you're going to pass it or you're going to go for it. I'm super happy to have this in my collection. So, yeah, hopefully we'll find another one down the road because I do want to keep one kind of sealed and just have it in my kind of clothes collection. I don't resell, so it's not like I'm going to try and make a profit off this. I just want to enjoy this figure. And like I said in some of my other videos, figure this good, I want to have a second one. Just in case something happens to this guy, falls off a shelf, he's broken, goes missing. If I move or something happens, and unfortunately that happens, I misplaced some figures. And for the life of me, I can't find them in a recent move. And yeah, I just want to make sure I have two of them. So I'm covered on all bases and I'm not four or five years down the road trying to find this figure. And I'm paying like $200, $300 for it, which ain't going to happen. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this reverse flash. Turn on your bell notification because anytime I produce a new video, it'll go directly into your feed. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great one. We'll see you soon.